Jamming Outdoors here. I'm going to bring you a segment about what worked for me today. We went to Lake Nacogdoches. It's January 4th, 2015, first fishing trip of the year. It was 40 degrees outside. Uh, got to about 45 degrees. Water temperature was in the... Uh, it, it ranged from 48 to 50 degrees. Most of my fish that I had came in the 50 degree water. We had to stay warm today, so we wore our Gander Mountain Guide Series H2O Water Tech uh, waterproof real tree overalls. Kept my legs warm and my chest. And then we wore this jacket over the top of it with some gloves and some various other items around my head and my hands and around my feet to keep it warm so uh, we didn't freeze. Let's talk a little bit about what worked today. I had a Carolina rig. We used the Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver. The color is called uh, Mossy Mud. It's a uh, pumpkin on one side and a green on the other. It was paired on a 7 foot star rod with a uh, Shimano Sitica. It's a heavy, fast action rod. Had a uh, three quarter ounce egg weight with a glass bead, a swivel, and a, about a 36 inch monofilament leader, number two Gamagatso hook. The reason why I like the monofilament is because it allows the bait to float off the bottom uh, compared to the floor carbon which will sink. We were fishing in about I was just I had the boat in about 13 foot of water. I was casting into about five in a road it was off of an old road bed that went across the lake. Um, and I drag it down that it was on a hump from five feet to down to the 13 foot of water so I would just drag it down that hump and they hit it various times there were times when they would just kind of tap it uh, it was cold and cold front blew through so it was kind of rough uh, missed a few fish and caught a few fish pretty happy with the productivity today probably if I'd have dumbed it down a little bit use a smaller lure something like that probably would have had more hook sets uh, just a reminder none of these products are I endorse just uh, my own opinion. Thanks.